some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Waterloo, Iowa, with a frauditor who just doesn't have too much common sense and finds himself getting trespassed from a Boost Mobile store. And he wants to whine, cry, and complain about it being a public business and therefore he can't be trespassed from it. Uh, dude, no, it's a privately owned business open to the public and you can be trespassed from it if you uh, act disorderly and everything like that, you moron. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Your camera work leaves something to be desired. It absolutely sucked because I already had to uh, go through this video and correct it before I added any commentary to it. Because you know what? I would much rather watch a video that has proper camera angles than the crap that you put out. In fact, in the words of Denver Metro Audits, do better. They said that you were causing a problem in there. What's wrong? What's the problem they were causing? What problem did they say I was causing? That you were yelling and screaming, called her a bitch. Oh, yeah, because he was acting like that. Yeah. What's, what's got you upset? So, basically, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, with how, how I can get what they're sending me to my phone. And I'm asking her questions, and she's mm -hmm. acting all snobby. So, I'm like, you acting like a bitch. She said, leave. I said, I'll leave. She says, you calling the police? Call them. You know, if you were a true frauditor, you would have recorded all that conversation and still twisted it around. But since you didn't uh, include any of that footage in this video, I uh, have cause to question your story at this point. Uh, you probably were the antagonist this whole time, and right now you're just trying to make yourself look like the hero. I mean, it, frauditors do it all the time, but... At least they post the beginning of the video most of the time that way. They can at least spin it in their own direction. I mean, at least they have something. You have nothing. So, I mean, I don't know if she thought I was going to run or whatever, but I mean, if they don't want me in the store, I won't go there no more, but they need to get better customer service. Yeah. Is that who your phone provider is? Yeah. Okay. So, didn't get aggressive, nothing like that? What's aggressive? He said that you were pointing your finger walking towards him. Oh my gosh. Well, if they got cameras in there. I don't know what's aggressive. Everybody interprets things differently. Man. I don't know what so aggressive is. Some people look at I just came asking, aggressive I just came asking things. questions. And when she started acting all snobby, I came calm, trying to figure out how to take advantage of this promotion. Yeah. When she started acting, well, I just work for Booth. Well, if you work for Booth, you should be able to answer these questions. If not, who do I need to talk to? When she want to act snobby, well, you acting like a bitch. They need to get better customer service because. People shouldn't be bitchy when I'm trying to spend money <laughs> with your business. You know, dumbass, uh, it seems like uh, you're part of the problem in this situation because if you called the uh, customer care representative at that Boost Mobile store a bitch uh, for no reason whatsoever, then, uh, well, it seems like you're the one who antagonized the situation to begin with and caused it to go downhill. If you want to be treated like a good customer, then act like a good customer. Don't swear at the uh, at the employees because you might not get any service in a lot of places if you act like that. So bottom line, I mean, if they don't want me in there. I won't go in there no more. I don't. I mean, I'm not trying to attack nobody or nothing like that. I don't know what's the point of calling the police. Just say leave. I'm gonna leave. Sometimes, sometimes when people get upset, if they're irritated and upset, yeah, I'm definitely here. I'm definitely here. Yeah, sometimes when people are irritated, they don't. I don't want to leave and uh, like I'm running from something because I'm definitely not uh, running from anything. Yeah. Um, 
I was going, I, matter of fact, I'm going to talk to her boss. I seen you, because she said the police is coming. I ain't know, yeah. it's hot out here, so I ain't want to be standing around. But yeah. when I seen you, you was coming over here, that's why I came back over here, just to make sure. Yeah. So what, you telling me not to go back here, or what, they saying they don't that's want me back saying, here? Yeah. You got your idea, nope. just got to put down the No, you know, here Thank we you. go again, here we go again. Do you suspect me of committing a crime? They are trespassing you from their property. For what? Because they don't want you on their property. Okay, well, you're telling me I, I won't go back on their property. Now we're recording this. I need your ID. So I don't have an ID. It. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not providing any, any information unless you suspect me of committing a crime. Uh, you don't carry an ID or you just don't have an ID? Because if you don't have an ID, then uh, I got a question for you. How do you get a lot of your business done around town? Because some places do require IDs. Like, uh, well, if you want to uh, open up a bank account, you gotta have an ID. If there are certain medications that you're trying to pick up at a pharmacy, then you gotta have an ID. I mean, you just gotta have this crap, dude. So, which leads me to believe that you might be lying about having an ID. You know, because, you know, it's a critical these days to have one. Disorderly conduct is a crime. So is that what you suspect me of? Yeah. So if I don't give you an ID, you gonna arrest me right now or take me to jail? I would like to or arrest you. Are you, 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 you going to do it? To, yes or no? I'm, if I don't, because I'm, I'm acting disorderly. So I'm not, they call I'm the police. I've been asking I'm questions. Not, listen to me. I'm not. Call a supervisor out here. I'm the lieutenant. I'm the call highest person supervisor person right here. here. Lieutenant Bowles. Call the supervisor out here. Cause this, this is not is right. right. I haven't committed any crime. All, all I, I need act, your name so I'm they not, can I'm not put you down as being a trespassed person. I'm not providing any information if I haven't committed a crime. Have a nice day. Be gone. If you come back, you will be arrested. I said I wasn't coming back already, so you don't have to give me no. Go get in your car. Go get in your car. You're not my boss. You're not my boss. You're right. So you don't tell me. I said I was. I told you. I said I wasn't gonna go back. Now this you acting. Probably why they you, called the police because you're acting. Man, I told you. I told you that I said the only reason why I came back here. You are here. And they and just want to trust you. Have no, no problem. You don't, you don't have to do I will not come back to this store. I will go to the You come back to your jail. You don't have to tell me. Okay. You can go get in your car. Have a nice day. You have a nice day, too. You have a nice day. Why? I'm on I'm on public sidewalk. I can be here. I'm not I'm not in this store. I'm getting paid to be here. I'm I, well. Is this stuff going it seems like a waste it, it seems like a waste of money. It is a waste of money. For you to be in paid to get here, because I'm not a problem. I was going on about my way, you can go on about yours. You can go about yours. Nobody's keeping you here. Nobody's keeping you. I'm here. I'm here too. I'm in the United States of America. I can be. Me too. I can be wherever I want to be. Right. Agreed. Okay. So what's the problem? I have no problem. Okay. Then what? You to leave. Did, did you try to ID me for no reason, man? Because they want you trespassing. You trying to ID me for no reason? You trying to ID me for no reason, man? Have a nice day. I'm not gonna argue with y'all. I'm not. I'm not arguing. I'm stating the facts. I don't care. I'm stating facts. I don't care either. If you don't want to be here, be gone. I'm here. I'm here. I can be anywhere I want to be. You don't tell me where to go or where not to go. I go where I want to go. Man, go on about your business, Captain, Lieutenant. Go on, go on about your business before you be a YouTube star. I already got you on here once. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Yeah, who cares? I mean, cops are on YouTube all the damn time because of idiots like you who don't understand the law or anything like that. And besides, uh, you post so infrequently, what difference does it make anyway? Because uh, this video you posted was like yesterday, and uh, the one previous to that was a year ago, and the other one after, before that was uh, two years ago. So, yeah, I don't think you're really committed to your YouTube channel, unlike certain other frauditors who post at least two or three times a week. I mean, come on now. Dude, you're not fooling anybody. Acting stupid. Good for you. Good for you. We're going to show the professionalism of the Waterloo Police Department. We're going to show how professional y'all is. Okay. Okay. You were asked for ID. You don't want to give it. Have a nice day. All right. You talking about taking me to jail and all this type of stuff. I like, you don't. could go to jail for disorderly right. conduct, yes. What's disorderly? You're causing a scene in there. I'm causing a scene. Cause the police. I'm causing That's a scene. I'm here. By asking questions is causing a scene. I wasn't here. All right, then, why don't you stop making them excuse and saying that I did something that you weren't here? That's what they're Well, that's what they said. People lie all the time. Absolutely. People lie all the time. Yeah. So get the facts before you start doing that. I talked with them. Okay, man. I'm trying they to talk to you calmly, man. Here. Yeah, I, I get that. I don't got no problem. I'm, not, no problem until I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm down. I'm, I'm, I'm some businesses down. I'm not there. 
The only reason why I came because I seen the car coming here. I get that. That's it, man. No, I appreciate okay, that, man. I'm, okay. So why get so bent it's, it's out of shape? Because this, I asked for your ID. It's hot out because you don't need no ID, man. How do I not? You need don't need no ID because I haven't committed the crime. Let me pause for a second, real quick. What? what? <laughs> Hear me out for Come one on, second. Man. Hear me out for one second. Without getting pissed off, hear me out for one second. Let's say we're at your house. We're at yeah, your house. house. I know, but let's say we're at your house because I gotta get it so you can understand it or you can see it from their side of view. You're at your house. Some random person comes to your house causing a problem that you no longer want there. You call the police because this person is causing a problem at your house. I come there, you say, hey, officer, I don't want them to come back on my property or I want them arrested for trespassing, right? So I come out there, I talk to the person that you're having problems with. How in the future am I supposed to be able to do anything if that person came back to your house, if that person doesn't provide me any ID? Does that make sense? Man. Like Does that make sense, yes or no? Bottom line, that may make sense, but that's a whole different situation. It's not a different situation. Yes, it is. This is a business. It's not a house. They have the it's ability. Not a house. They have it's the ability public. to no. A house it's is a some... private business. They have the ability Man, to Man, that is open to the public though. They have the Dude, it is a privately owned business open to the public. And as such, you can be easily trespassed from their business because they run it. They can uh, get you out of there. They can boot you out. Unfortunately, you don't seem to be able to understand this. I mean, have you been watching too many frauditor videos? I mean, uh, do you think that trespassing laws don't exist or anything like that? I mean, Iowa certainly has a trespassing law. I wonder how many times you've been trespassed from privately owned business that are businesses that are open to the public, dude. I mean, you certainly act like this has happened before. The they can, but they got to tell me, and they told me, and I left. Yes. You see what I'm saying? So when they There's told no me, difference, though. when they told me, and I and I left. I'm explaining to you is the reason why I asked for your ideas because they well, and, and I'm telling you the reason if why. You want to give it to me? I'm not going to take well, it. Well, I'm, I'm not going to get into a knockout, dragout fight or have. Well, if you do, you want that lawsuit like the Wyoming Police I Department? I know that's crazy that you don't care. You'll do that and violate somebody's rights. I'm not going to violate somebody's rights. I have this. I'm looking to try to explain. Do you know the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution? I do very well. What does it say? I have the right to be secure my person, unless what? Unless Probable what? cause of what? A crime. Which so, they're so, saying that you so committed. Because they're saying. They're saying not not not, not probable cause. They're saying is not probable cause. Bottom line is they don't want you back. Bottom line, I haven't committed a crime. For your ID. Bottom line, I'm not coming back here, sir. Okay. Don't come back. If okay. you do, then you okay. will have to be forced to give your ID because okay. you will. Well, you don't have to tell me all that. I'm a grown man. Like they say, don't eat yellow snow because it got piss in it. Watch. Don't walk around with scissors. I've never heard that. So I. Oh, I you never. You don't eat yellow snow. I, I would hope people would be that dumb. Go home with scissors. Yeah, I've heard that one. Turn your signals on when you make turns. Stop violating you. people's rights. Who's violating anybody's You rights? do it. You do it. I do it. Huh? Yeah, you tried to. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where? Plenty of times. That don't matter. I met you before. I know exactly who you is. Who am I? I know exactly who you is. You don't know who I am? <laughs> I know exactly who you is, man. Exactly. I know what you do. Y'all violate people's rights every day. Y'all, who's going? What's your the Waterloo Police Department, who you work for, okay. violate people's rights every day. Well, I explained why I'm down here for you. Okay. okay? I explained why and I, I explain why I wouldn't provide no ID. I explained why I asked for your ID. And I explained why it wasn't happening. Do you understand why I asked No, I don't understand that. Well, I, I don't understand that. Have a nice day. Yeah. You too. dude you completely failed in your knowledge of the law and everything like that but this one sure you know about the fourth amendment but uh you sure as hell don't know how it works because it guarantees you against unreasonable searches and seizures not that they'll uh keep your freaking id they just want to make sure that you won't come back to the property because you were committing a disorderly conduct violation at that store at that boost mobile store
store. And uh, you know what? If you want to test your uh, test yourself, go back there and see what happens. And I'm sure you'll discover that well, maybe you were in the wrong. And maybe you've been influenced by too many damn frauditors to begin with. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. It. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fucking leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. Third Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead. Uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, oh, I've got too many entities. I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name, and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to. Jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, That's a 25. 35. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hello, ma'am. Hi. How are you? Okay. I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave. Okay. Why? You. you know you are not to be on campus. Please no. Put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys were arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want what, someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.